Hello everyone, this is your Gibbs, and this is a special edition. I'm doing a game that is called Fort Zombie, and I, I'm not going to do a Let's Play, I'm just going to play a few days, if you will. This is a zombie survival game, and this is our character here, Ben Riley, and I've just set up my attributes. It's a little bit of an RPG kind of zombie game. I got the idea from Revocane, I've been watching all of his uh, Fort Zombie videos and they're all incredible. Um, I'm going to just play on the police station. It's the easy level. These are all different areas and a little more challenging than that or than the first one here. But yeah, I'll leave a link to Revocane, his channel, in the uh, spot you'd expect to find it. But uh, incredible, janky game. Uh, a certain element of charm to this game. I have... Uh, played it a couple times and have died. <laughs> it is certainly not very forgiving. The controls you'll see in a few minutes are janky. They, uh, you need to use the right mouse button to kind of move the camera around, but you shoot with the left and run with the WASD. So yeah, it's a little bit uh, craziness. Um, but it does have some neat mechanics uh, around searching for guns and ammo and food and medicine. So this is kind of it. This is what it looks like. Here's Ben. Uh, I'm using the right mouse to kind of look around. And I can open up this chest here and I have FUD. A Colt Detective Special and a crowbar. It does require some uh, inventory management. So here I'm doing a search, and he's doing the funky chicken there. And I have med kit and more food, and a nice nine millimeter Beretta with some uh, meal rations. So I take all that. So you can see there is an element of inventory management here. Uh, so you use tab to switch your weapons, R is reload like you would expect, and uh, yeah, so no zombies yet. You can see on the bottom there's this, what could be classified, oh there's a zombie over there, could be classified as a compass. Yeah, it's not that great. <laughs> I've actually... In my last game, I wandered around for literally an hour and a half looking for the fort. Alright, so there's some zombies over there. Uh, there's three of them. And hammer time. So that is a store that has like uh, building supplies in it. I'm not interested in that right now, so I'm just going to run away. There's a zombie dude over there. So let's see if I can shoot his head. Oh, shot his arm off. The reload on this particular gun is really slow. So you kind of have to run away. There's also mechanics uh, behind how well you shoot. And if you're running, you shoot pretty badly. I think it's like a cone. Oh, and there's also a noise mechanic. So... The more I shoot, oh, nice headshot. The more I shoot, the more it's going to attract other zombies. And I'm just going to switch to my crowbar. And knock his arm off. So, yeah. And my stamina bar is that white blinking bar. So I'm in trouble because I can't run anymore. So, whenever you use a melee weapon, it affects your stamina pretty quickly. Um, so I just want to get out of sight. If they can't see you, they'll stop chasing you. I'm going to head over this way. So there are different weapons in this game. You start off with pistols, and then you get rifles, and then assault rifles. So it's kind of neat. Oh, there's more guys over there. Eek. So I'm just going to wait for my stamina to build. Oh, shoot. Look at the hockey guys over there. And then I'm going to run past these guys. Sometimes it's better to run and fight another day. So I'm hoping that I got here in time. Yeah, see, they didn't chase me. Nice. 
So that's kind of what you see right here, the jank in the wall here. Yeah. Guess what? Zombies can literally spawn and walk through walls. <laughs> it, it is an element of the charm of this game. Uh, I don't know what else to tell you. It's it's a ten dollar game, so I mean you're not uh, paying a sixty dollar fee for a lot of this jank over here. Uh, you can see over there. Whoa, there's some more guys here. Let's shoot this guy. Oh, that didn't hit with any of those. So uh, there's uh, sort of an army presence in this town, and uh, you want to raid those army trucks. Uh, hello, shoot. Oh, there we go. Headshot. So obviously that's a really efficient use of ammo. <laughs> Oh, so I didn't quite get him. Ah. So you want to shoot the limbs off of guys that have guns. I'm just going to run away for a bit. See if I can hide over here. Whew, yeah. Let's see. So that guy's coming for me. If I shoot him, the other ones are going to come too. I don't even know how I missed there, but uh, I do know that you gain experience from using uh, your weapons, so uh, sometimes you have to start off with some pretty shitty skill and work up to it. So a sporting goods store is a good place to get ammo, uh, so I'm going to definitely want to go in there and uh, poke around. And really, actually, for this day one, Oh geez, see that blue guy up there? He's a, called a jogger, and he can outrun you. Yeah, so day one, the whole point of day one is to actually get to your uh, fort. And uh, so there's no... Cl oh, see, look at that guy. He just ran and got me. I'm going to beat him with my crowbar. Oh, the glass is on her head. Oh, my stamina's down. Damn it. <laughs> Oh, he bit me. I just did a headshot. Oh, and I'm getting into serious trouble here. So it's time to run away. Oh, and there's hockey players over there. Oh, oh, and there's a police officer with a gun. So yeah, this is not going well. And the fireman has the axe. This is all bad. Open! Open. So I'm trying to break line of sight. Oh, and there's all sorts of crazy dudes in here. Oh boy. So this is where the ammo is over here. And my phone keeps ringing. So I'm exhausted. So I'm going to do a little search over here. I've broken the line of sight. I'm hoping there's some ammo. If not even worth stopping for. <laughs> uh, sometimes these empty shells will have it too. Nothing. So I'm at 87% health. Those vending machines sometimes have pop in them. Oh, and look at all the zombies over there. So I'm going to make a dive out this window, or jump I guess. So that was a bit of a bust, not really much in there. And there's tons of... Th I'm going to go back this way I think. Run past the zombie. Oh, what's over here? Oh, more bad zombies. Those are not good ones. The cricket ones are tough. Oh, jogger, damn it. Oh, he took a 20% off of me. Oh, you dirty whore. Alright, let's... I'm gonna have to shoot him, because... Oh, we have a bunch of friends here. So I'm, uh... Yeah, this is not going well. I'm gonna get exhausted any time now. Let's get up here. See if he... Oh! 
Oh. So you can see, uh, it's so easy to uh, get swarmed. I need to break the line of sight. Come on, turn, turn, turn. And, oh, there's a zombie coming through the wall. See that? I'm going to try to catch my breath. Okay, let's uh, head out over here. I'm going to continue to look for my fort. In this particular one, it's a police station. It's usually... Ooh. Oh, you can hear a police officer. Oh, there's a... Uh, oh, run! The military guy has an M16. And, uh, yeah, that's bad. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> this is not going well. He took me for another hit. I need to walk for a bit. Uh, this is a medical zombie, and they have a nasty skill where they will reassemble zombies that you have killed. Uh, yeah. Can I get over this fence? Oh, I'm on the fence. There we go. So I need to catch up. Catch my breath here. There are some uh, gun stores that you'll find. Oh, and also the map is randomly generated every time you play. And the whole premise is to survive 14 days and then the zombies will come after you at your fort. You do spend time gathering guns and uh, ammo and uh, survivors too. There's actually survivors in this game. So they will either help you build up your defenses at your fort or they'll come with you and go on these kind of missions to gather resources. So it's kind of a neat concept. There's barbecue over there. Sometimes they've got gasoline. So I'm just going to wait to catch up here. My breath. Oh boy. And then I'm going to... Parks are usually bad because there's usually a large amount of zombies. Look at them all over there. See military one, police officer one, and a medic one, which is bad. Oh, look, there's a the gasoline over here. This is what I was talking about. You need gasoline to uh, operate your generator at your fort, and uh, because you collect power tools to help you increase your speed of building up your defenses. Oh, and there's a football guy. So I'm pretty much showing you every, like the main zombies that you're going to, oh, the police officer guy is shooting me, and I am out of, this is going to get bad. Damn it. Oh my god, I'm in so much trouble. They're just chewing on me. Oh, so I've got a pretty good chance that I will die. <laughs> I need to break line of sight. Oh, this freaking jogger. I'm going to try to get in this building. Oh, see, I just glitched through the wall too. Oh, I've got 9%. And I'm running low on that ammo. I don't know, sometimes I can get headshots really easy, and then other times this game is not f very forgiving. Oh, I gotta run away from the cricket guy, he's brutal. You can search police cars, sometimes you'll get lucky and get some uh, guns and ammo. Oh, I'm in trouble now, I can't go that way. Oh my god, there's three of them, Jesus. <laughs> oh, and I died. <laughs> All right, well, that gives you a sneak peek at what this game's about. Obviously, I would have loved to have shown you a fort. Um, and as you go through each day, 
Uh, you can spend probably, I'd guess, six to eight hours building up your fort. So, uh, so definitely replay value. Uh, certainly want to check this out. So it's your Gibbs, and thanks for watching.